Okay, we are going to be moving away from time and we're going to be learning something new called area. So first we're going to look at these rectangles and are all these rectangles the same size? How are you going to know? How are you going to know if they're all just as big or whether some are bigger or some are smaller? And in your math book today, you're probably, I know you're going to have to, take out scissors and cut to figure out. I could put them on top of each other. I don't know if that helps us figure out. What are we going to have to do? We're going to have to match them up to see if they're bigger or not. So I can put this blue one right over top of the orange one so we know that the blue rectangle and the orange rectangle are just as big as each other. How about the green one? Well, I'm going to turn it and I'm going to put it right over top. doesn't matter because we already know that the blue one is just as big as the orange one. So I could put it on top of the blue one. Make it a little straighter. And you should be able to see that the blue is slightly bigger than the green one, which means it's going to be, the orange is going to be slightly bigger than the green one. I hope you don't have color blindness. So are all the rectangles the same size? Well, these two are the same size, and the green one is smaller. If you were in class, I would give you a rectangle. So we're going to just pretend to take the orange rectangle, and we're going to cut it in half. So we're going to fold, we would fold it so that this side matched exactly over to that side. And I cut it into two pieces and I made them red. See, they match exactly. And then we're going to make a different rectangle. So if I tape them together, the rectangle is going to look exactly the same as our uh, orange one. But if I tape them, I can't do that. If I tape them this way, I'm going to get a different shaped rectangle. There we go. So this rectangle, if I cut it in half, will turn into this rectangle. They look totally different. Or I could cut it in half this way and I could make ooh, a little bit too big. I could have a rectangle that looks like this. So I cut the orange rectangle in half and I could make a rectangle that like this or I could make a rectangle like this. All the rectangles look different but the amount of paper that you would need to make these rectangles is exactly the same. So all of these rectangles have the same amount of space. So if I took a piece of paper and I cut it and made it like this, or I made it like this, it's, it's exactly the, the same amount of paper that I would need for this rectangle, turns into this rectangle and into this rectangle. And see, we can, Probably easiest to do it this way. I can put them on top and it takes exactly as much space. The shape is different, but how much space they need is the same. This is the amount of area the rectangle takes up. 
is exactly the same as how much area this rectangle takes up and how much area this rectangle takes up. And we know it because we used that rectangle to make the other two rectangles. See? The exact same amount of space. Area. So even though the rectangles look really different, and some of you probably think that some rectangles are bigger, they are all the same in how much space, how much area they have. So here we have two, well this looks more like a square. Which one takes up more space? Which one has a bigger area? Well, We've been putting them on top of each other. And if you can see, here we're going to match them up. You can see that the orange, yellow one takes up more space than the blue one. So the yellow one has more area. This one's easy to tell. Sometimes they're a little bit harder to tell. So if I could put them on top of each other, here we have extra blue space, and here we have extra red space. See, here there's extra blue and here there's extra red. So what you should do is you cut off this extra bit of blue, so this extra bit of blue, and you cut off this extra bit of red, this extra bit of red. See, this is where they're the same. And this is where this one is extra. And this is where this one is extra. And you cut them off. Now it should be easier for you to see. But even, even then, let's match them up. Let's put this one to the back. And you can see that there is more red than blue. So which one takes up more space? Which one has more area? The red one is bigger, has more area. So you just have one page to do today, but it's kind of tricky because, well, either you are going to cut these straight out of your book, and really, it doesn't matter to me, or you're going to take some paper and you're going to trace over top this shape and this one. What you're going to do is cut out a rectangle that's this big and cut out a rectangle that's this big. So, and then you put them on top of each other. And you should be able to see which one is bigger and which one is smaller. Because that's what you have to write, bigger and smaller. Or, you know... If you're going to cut them straight out of your book, you just tell your grown-up which one is bigger and smaller. This is going to be harder to tell, so you're going to have to figure out how you can figure out which one is bigger and smaller. And you're probably going to have to do this. Cut off the extra pieces. Okay? One page for today.